this way. Yeah, it does say there's a flyer here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we found that out the last time. Alright, do I want to head here or here? Let's head here, see if we can't find any um, special pets to use, because I really would like a spirit beast. That would be great, because I should be at the level now, but I should be able to see it. <laughs> Here is nice. Oh, never mind. Nice music gone. Now it's now it's war music. Nice time over. on some stuff and procreate too because it was a little mission I wanted to do. So I might work on that as well. We're almost there. Cool. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll find Crush. That'd be nice. I do have a feeling we probably won't find anything rare, because again, these are really rare ones and I'm in a very busy realm. So. It's probably not going to end too well for me.
following me, so that's good. I wish I could tame those. But sadly, I cannot. I was positive I could tame spirit beasts at this level. Pretty sure. Pretty sure 60 is the level requirement. It's my nether wing. Sweet. That was actually a surprisingly really nice grind. Well, maybe not nice. Grinding is never very nice, but you know. It wasn't too bad. I see nothing. I see that dusty spot, which always throws me off. Plant. Let me get some herbs. There's that guy again. This has got to be his tracks. Almost positive that's his tracks. Which is really disturbing because, like, I know another rare pet that you can get that has to use those tracks in order to find him. So. Yeah. Push up the can crush. Because that would make me happy too. Because I like King Crush. Do the quest here now since I'm here. Would help pass the time.
Classic is nice. Do the questions that I see here. Why not? It's different. understand why there's like little pockets of fog. That's the part I'm confused about. Cause it seems like something should be here, but it's not.
missing. Okay, various creatures and shrooms, so I just gotta kill things. We found the ring. Now what do I need to do? Finish. Something. Go this way. And I think we kill these guys. Yeah, these.
not the angle I want to be at. Well, well, well. You don't just pick that up. It's well. Here is it. Oh, ah. Hi, oh. Jabatsi. Um, well, I mean, I'll play some spoopy games, but I don't know, um, <laughs> I don't know if I particularly like them. I did finally watch that fat, is it phasmophobia thing? Um, that one looked fun and terrifying, but also fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess I am. I'm supposed to escort you. I'm sorry, lady. I better stick with her so she doesn't die. But yeah, no, like that phas phasmophobia game looks like fun. I'd actually play that. I don't know how much it is though. <laughs> but that one looks like fun. It kind of reminds me of the the ghoul bros i don't know i forget their names now shane and ryan i think is the two guys names they're a lot of fun to watch whenever they go into like spooky houses and stuff oh 1399 is not bad i don't know i may i may pick that one up because that one seems like fun because i think that would be a fun game to like play and stream and kind of get spooked on ah <laughs> he came out of nowhere <laughs> Seriously, you're just walking away as this guy's beating me up, miss. D okay, waste no time strutting your stuff through this area. <laughs> she is a woman on a mission. Holy crap. She takes no crap from nobody and she's whacking people with, I believe, lit dynamite. She has no fear. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> She's so happy. No problem. I may actually pick up that game because that one actually looks like one I'd play and it would be kind of fun. Also spooky, but also fun. <laughs> Alrighty, now we head this way and flying machine engine. They have come for the engine. But I will say first I have to get done with the challenge because I want to get to 120 as quickly as possible. So I'm trying to stream this as much as possible so that I can... for the biddies. It really does help a lot and I like seeing my little thing that I did pop up. It's kind of nice. I got an idea for another one too. Um, 
So instead of using the cat bug <laughs> gif I found, I have an idea of what I want to do for the thank you for subscribers, because I think it would be kind of cute. So. But I'm streaming early right now because I do have some stuff that I'm going to be working on later today. So I wanted to get this done as quickly as possible. At least get to 80 as fast as I can. So. Tis what I'm doing it early for. Also, how are you today, by the way? How have you been? Snake. Yeah. Has work at least kind of chilled out a bit, or is it still kind of hectic? Or is it like just the right amount of hectic and chill? Gotcha. Well, at least for the most part, it's fine. I know a while back it was kind of crazy and things were going all over the place, it sounded like, so glad they kind of somewhat mellowed to an extent. Definitely. There is more animations I didn't notice. That lady has a lit- Ah! That one lady had a lit fused um, dynamite, which I never knew it was lit this entire time. Um, so that's terrifying in its own right. Um, what's hitting me? You. Um, also, some of the models have different expressions on their face that I've never really paid attention to, so that's kind of neat to see. Because um, you don't really- get a feel of any expression in the characters whenever you're far back. Whereas whenever you're super up close, you actually kind of feel something a little bit whenever they yell at you or give you stuff. Huh. And that booty. <laughs> so polygonal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've noticed quite a few things. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, from this point of view, I've like- I've only accidentally went inside a model once where I could see the inside of someone's face, which is really weird to see um, for a model perspective. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just like mostly- I see mostly booty. <laughs> Cause I'm at the right height for that. Am I supposed to kill these? Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to kill these guys. Some of the models obviously are the same uh, type, but some of them you kind of get surprised and there's a little bit of difference to them, so... <laughs> Goodness. And then you can see like really stretched out textures, and then some textures are like, oh that's kind of nice, but... A lot of the old stuff- jeez, oh, he just threw like freaking blades at me! Like, um, some textures obviously in the old- why are you here? Are like, stretched all the heck. Which some of the newer ones I've noticed are kind of stretched too, even from a far away distance, and that's not good in my opinion. I think they could have picked a better, like, model or made a bigger image of it and updated them but eh 
That's a nitpick. Oh gosh! Why? Why would you try that out in VR? That sounds so bad! All I did was watch a little bit of PewDiePie's um, video on it, and I'm like, no! But yes! <laughs> but I can't imagine doing it in VR. <laughs> that would be- that just sounds utterly terrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness. So how does the, um, how does it work in VR then? Is it just, like whenever you get taken over, what happens? Or I guess if you get taken over, what happens? <gasps> Wait, I have the flying machine, yay! I actually have a way to, oh. I am closer, hooray! I got a flight for that discovered. Yay! Oh, no! <laughs> oh my gosh, no! That sounds awful! I don't... No! That sounds like a nope. Giant nope situation. We're going this way, by the way. Or should I go this way and then this way? This is difficult. Do I want to stay here? No, I'm gonna go here. I at least want to find one spirit beast. Okay, cinematic mode. Ho! <laughs> That's good. What was the spirit? I thought that was interesting too for that game where you can kind of guess what spirits there are with the different ghosts instead of it just being a generic, oh, it's a ghost. Interesting. I've never heard of a Mar. What what type of a uh, entity is that? So kind of like a sleep paral sleep per paralysis demon. Tick it off enough, but <laughs> my deduction skills were on point. <laughs> oh, geez, that would be terrible. Well, how would you not? How could you tick something like that off? Like, wouldn't you have to be asleep in order for it to? Oh, okay, so it doesn't like hearing its name. I can understand that. Being a ghost, I'd probably be ticked off if someone kept saying my name, too. Because <laughs> I hate hearing my actual name. <laughs> That's why I like my nicknames. Wow, it's gonna take a little bit. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that's interesting. I didn't catch that whenever I watched it.
Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to play that one, because I think that one would be kind of up my alley. Because I liked Fatal Frame, believe it or not. For not really playing scary games, I actually did enjoy Fatal Frame, where you were taking pictures of ghosts. And I thought that was kind of cool. And that's how you defeated them. But this one seems more in depth, where you're acting like an actual, or kind of like a ghost hunter, almost. Um, cause you're going into the place, you're investigating, and then you're getting proof of it, which is what a lot of, you know, I, I assume ghost hunters like to try and do to bring awareness. And then kind of dissecting each and every type of ghost so you know what you're dealing with, so how to deal with it better the next time. Oh, so you can get a truck? Like, actually, like, the the surveillance truck, kind of? Oh, okay. Ooh, that could be fun. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. That sounds like fun. That really does. Like, I'd be all for that. Especially for you know, the season it is right now. Um, I would think that would be a spooky game I can really get into. Oh, okay, so you actually do get some currency too. So that's the point of the currency, so you can get more gear, like better gear. Now, if you're playing with a bunch of people, do you get, like, your own separate cash pool? Like, if you do better than the other guy, you get, uh, the money that your character would have collected? Or is it just a giant lump sum for everyone? Just more stuff. It's not really better stuff. It's just more stuff. Put a vacuum on my car and call it a day. <laughs> okay. So the money is separate from your group. So each individual has their own money that they can use. Oh, that's interesting music. I think we're getting close to our destination. Correct. The uh, ghost bear should be somewhere in this general vicinity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the ghost bear, which I'm gonna want to get. Cause I need, I need a spirit beast. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Nine Chronicles? Oh, that, um, that cat game. Or cat people type thing. Yeah, that one actually looked really cool too. It reminded me of Oblivion. Or, not Oblivion, but, um... Is it Osiris? I know my friend played it. She streamed it. And I can't remember the name of it now. I know it began with an O. Pair to pair. Oh, okay. <laughs> I read that as pair to pair. I'm so confused. 
-hmm. So interesting. So you'd have to like at least collab to say, hey, I'm gonna bring this so that you don't because I, cause I can see it being you can bring too much of one thing and not enough of another if you don't coordinate with each other properly. Oh, hello, lady. Okay, but we're not going to stop here. We're going to go this way. I need a spirit beast. I'm pretty sure it's this way. To the hills! Oh. Well, I guess that works. At least they write it out for you. <laughs> Cause I'd be completely lost. So you'd have to rebuy it. Do you get any money if you die, though? Even if you started guessing before you died? Or do you just, like, get nothing? Because that could be devastating, too, depending on what you bring. Because you could lose a really, really good item. Interesting. That's an interesting concept for a game. I kind of like that idea. I mean, it's, t it's definitely morbid, but I like that idea. <laughs> Onward to more! Still heading in this direction because I want to get to here and get to that one. Oh, okay. Wait, really? There's no insurance for professionals? That seems a little not fair. <laughs> But at least you do get a lot more money, so I guess that works. I guess, I guess that would even it out, maybe. <laughs> Come on, guys. You're pros at this. Could be in a new. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, Scoop, sorry, but we don't have any insurance, so don't go <laughs> being a hero now. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> oh dear. I think we're almost at this. Which hopefully the will be there. Alliance flags, that's not a good sign. Not want to touch them. Any spirit beasts? 
wanted something, my goodness. Might just have to get the dinosaur at this point, because it might be the only thing I can get. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. Well, onward to the quests. Oh. Oh. Oh, now that would be... Ooh. Oh, that's kind of terrifying. But wait, wouldn't the ghost be able to find you? Couldn't it, like, go through, like, buildings and stuff if it's on a hunt? Only certain ones can do that. That's interesting. Okay. That seems kind of interesting that they couldn't find you anyway, because I would think they would go off of body heat. You know, for them being a ghost. I can't see you, sir. Okay. <laughs> you can bring a crucifix and maybe it will do something. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Also going to start finding groups for these. That way we can do dungeons while we're also doing quests. Ah. I'm so glad I picked a ranged class and not a melee class, because this would look really <laughs> Gotcha. I wonder... I wonder if it does do something, if it's on a professional level, but not like lower levels, and that's why it's inconsistent? Or is that for both? It does it for both of them. Oh, jeez! Look at his face! That is true. That would make sense to me. Um, that the type of ghost would be affected by it. Whereas other ghosts don't have the same, uh... Like, uh, reference for it.
also, are you only limited to... Like, how do you get more knowledge of different types of ghosts? Because I noticed in the video I watched, they could only choose Oni, and that was it. So do you have to, like, research to find more, or...? I don't remember this dungeon. I don't know who my tank is though. I'm gonna hope it's that person. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Now that's kind of, that's kind of cool. So it kind of helps uh, deduce the types. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the sound of the game. It sounds like it's a bit more in depth than how did our tank die? That did not last long. I did nothing. And they didn't say anything, so they can't blame that on me. Oh, is that our tank? Okay, that must be our tank. Good to know. That's how I felt was happening, but he might not have been our tank. <laughs> so, but he still fell over and went bleh, <laughs> which is pretty sad. <gasps> oh yeah, this model. I really, geez, if I could see him, I really liked this model for the snake people, but you never see this guy ever again. I don't know, I just love the King Cobra head. It's always the coolest to me. Cause I kinda wish you could see more of these this this type, but you just can't. You just don't. Oh, did we get a new? Oh, it's a panda! I do love the pandas. No. Please go after the tick. Yeah, I really don't remember much of this um, dungeon. I only remember bits and pieces. And the snake guy was definitely- Ooh, yay, I got a monster snake. Can use that at the Dark Moon Festival. But I'm not using it on this character. It's going straight to my other one.
And the thing of it is, they can't blame me anymore for taking aggro because my pets automatically do not have any growl turned on in dungeons anymore. They fixed that. Why it took them so long to do that, I have no idea. And this is what the snakes used to look like, so I'm kind of happy they updated them to look a bit more like this. Well, that. They just look so pretty now. I love them. And I love how they move. I did notice that on the spiders though, like on their little mandibles, they actually have like some little acid spits. And that was kind of cool to discover. Like on their model, it has like a little bit of dried up acid on them. It's cute. Well, not cute, but kind of a nice touch. I wouldn't mind them bringing back the good old pet tank, but unfortunately bears were are not as tanky as they once were. Uh, tank? 